It's not getting any easier to find and keep skilled staff in the resort. That's at least for Queenstown's Rhino construction business owner James McAllister. He says he was so desperate to find workers last year, he forked out $24,000 to bring three staff from Auckland for one week to do a job. It would have cost just $3,000 with staff on his books. The workload wasn't huge, but we'd lost staff. Um, and I looked all over New Zealand. It's pretty stressful. Yeah, you, get, you can get to the point where it's, yeah, it's pretty much dominating your thoughts, you know, what, what can I do to get someone to help. His staff include a part-time New Zealander who's retiring soon, a Scottish employee who got residency last year, and an Irishman and Englishman whose work visas are up for renewal, but there's no assurance for renewal. He says his foreign staff love Queenstown and want to stay, but if their visas aren't renewed, two of his key staff will leave, meaning it could be the end of his business. If I lost those two guys, I'd, I'd think about shutting the doors. Yeah. Construction recruitment agency branch manager Derek Hibbert says finding and retaining staff may get into a crisis point this winter due to lack of affordable housing. He says the cycle seems to get worse and worse every year. I know that there's been a lot of instances in recent times, and it's just hearsay, where visas have been have been knocked back after they've already they've had a working visa for a while, and then they've gone to renew it and haven't been able to renew for whatever reason. Hibbert says changes to immigration policy will hit Queenstown hard. McAllister is asking Minister of Immigration Ian Lees Galloway to look into the situation and review the government's immigration policies. We're sort of, we're begging for it, yeah. We really need it, a hand. In a statement, Immigration New Zealand Area Manager Stephanie Greathead told us out today. New Zealand citizens and residents are always given first priority when vacancies are advertised before the jobs are offered to people from overseas who are on labour market tested work visas. We continue to work with the work sectors to identify both short and longer term solutions, including a focus on training, industry, recruitment and retention strategies, as well as the visa process. McAllister says three other trade contractors are in the same boat, all trying to stay afloat a day at a time. Mina Amso, The South Today.